Hey, what's going on guys? And in this video, I'm going to show you how to control the Dynamixel AX12 using Python. So let's get to it. So for materials, you're going to need, of course, the AX12A motor, the USB to Dynamixel, the power hub, which connects everything together, and a 12 volt power supply. Okay, for software, you're going to need a few things. First, of course, is Python. As of recording this video, I'm using Python version 3.7. Next, you're going to need PySerial, which is the Python library for serial communication. The next package is Dynamixo SDK, which is for serial communication between Python and the Dynamixo motor. And finally, the last package is going to be the Dynamixo control package, which is the class that I wrote to make controlling the AX12 motor uh, more intuitive. So let's get to the browser and download those files. Okay, so I'll include all the links in the description below. And what you're going to do is just download all of the packages uh, that I mentioned earlier. So first off is the Dynamixo control, which is uh, written by me. So we'll just go ahead and download the zip folder. Next is the Dynamixo SDK. And we'll do the same thing, just download the entire thing. And PySerial, you could easily download using pip and uh, you could navigate to this page for more information. And I'll also include a link for the Dynamixo SDK page which has all of the installation directions here as well. Once downloaded, you could go ahead and extract the folders to the desktop. Okay, once you're done extracting, you should have two folders, the Dynamixo SDK as well as the Dynamixo control. So next we're gonna install the Dynamixo SDK library into Python. So first we'll navigate to our Python directory. For me it's in Windows C, Program Files, Python 37, Lib, Site Packages, and all of our libraries are stored here. So I'll move this to the side and we'll get to installing the Dynamics SDK. So go ahead and open up the SDK folder, navigate to Python, and what you're going to do is go ahead and copy this path right here. And then we're going to use the command line to install the Python library. So here, let's type in run, type in cmd, and before you press enter, hold down control and shift. This is going to allow you to open the command terminal as an admin. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, once the command line is open, we're going to navigate to this directory right here. And to do that, we'll type in cd and we'll just paste the directory that we used earlier. Okay. Now that we're in that directory, we're gonna install. Uh, we're gonna install the library by running this setup.py, and we could do that by doing Python setup.py and install. And what that's gonna do is gonna it's gonna download the Dynamixo SDK onto your library packages. As you can see here, I already have it, but um, yours is going to appear once you hit enter. So just go ahead and press enter. Okay, and once all of that's done, you should have the Dynamics SDK here in your Python library. So after that, we could exit out of everything and begin with actually controlling the Dynamics motor. To control the Dynamics motor, we're going to open up the package that I wrote. So let's go ahead and open up the project using your favorite IDE. For me, I'm using PyCharm. Okay, once your IDE is open, you can go ahead and open up the uh, Dynamixo test module. And I'll also open the Dynamixo control package. And in this package, you have the AX12 class right here. 
Okay, so I have my Dynamixo test module here, which is to demonstrate the functionality of the motor, and I have the class open right here. So first things first, let's go ahead and plug in our USB to Dynamixo. Okay, now we could plug in the power supply, and before we plug in the USB to Dynamixo, just make sure that uh, switch right here is set to the very left which is TTL. Okay, once it's plugged in from the Dynamixo class, you could go ahead and change your COM port right here. And to find out your COM port, you could just go to Device Manager, and under Ports, your serial port should come up. So go ahead and change to the correct port number. Okay, for the Dynamixo test module, the first line here is just importing the class. The second line is creating the motor object. And uh, I named mine My Dynamixel AX12. And you need to initialize it with the ID number. And if you want to work with multiple motors, you just have to create multiple objects. And connecting is pretty easy. All you have to do is use the method open port. So AX12.open port ax12 dot set baud rate and the baud rates already uh, defined here in the Dynamixo class okay so this function right here is just for user input to exit out of the function later on and test position we're gonna write some positions to the actual motor and we can go ahead and run this okay so once you run this uh, if the connection was successful, you should get the messages uh, succeeded to open the port and succeeded to change the baud rate. And for the set position function, I also have it displayed the ID number as well as the, the current present position. So let's go ahead and test the position. Okay, currently my motor is at a position of 1023, which is the uh, maximum. And I'll go ahead and change the input position to zero. And you can see that it'll move to zero. And the and it'll ask if you'll want to continue or not. So let's do one more time. And this time I'll write it to the middle position, which is 512. And I'll just conclude the position demo there. So some of the other functions I have is set the moving speed, which is to control the speed, get position, to return the position, and you could go, you could just go ahead and look at these in detail. If you guys want to write your own methods, you could go ahead and contribute to this code on GitHub, and you could just write whatever functions that you need for your particular projects. Okay, well that concludes this video on how to use the Dynamixo AX12 with Python. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.